so I'm currently bottling this. It's uh, interesting. Um, I haven't bottled fully like this for a long time, and I just want to bottle my this stout and leave it sit for a while. Uh, here's the stout. I've cold crashed it a little bit just to um, get a bit of sediment out of it if I can. I mean, it is a stout, so not, not a big deal. So hopefully from that, I'll put one teaspoon of sugar in it just to get it carbonated a little bit. It should be a little bit carbonated, but not a great deal. And what I'll do then is leave it for six months to see how it goes. It's an experiment to see how how it comes out. And this is a long-term video, so it's gonna take a little bit of time before I actually release it. And uh, yeah, it might be a good one. Okay, we'll get, get into the bottling. All right, see ya. So what I'm about to do is bottle my beers. Um, I'm gonna bring out the pressure fermenter which has pressure in it so I'm going to use the pressure from that to help it inject into the bottles and hopefully try and minimize the oxygen I'm putting in. I'm going to use dextrose to carbonate it a little bit and I'm only going to use one teaspoon per 750 ml because it's stout you don't want it to be too fizzy. Um, I've got my little scale this has been cleaned these have been cleaned with sanitizer and cleaned out with tissue. I've got my bottler so once I bottle it I'm going to put it inside and sit it in some warmer uh, not warmer room temperature and let it sit for about a week and I'll test one and see if it actually came out all right. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get stuck into it. I'm gonna do one test bottle. I'll just grab that one and see how it goes, just to give it a test. Um, again, everything's sanitized and clean, but I don't wanna to have too much moisture in there because sugar will stick to the moisture. My hands are clean, everything's clean. I need to put one teaspoon of sugar in my bottle. So I'll grab my dextrose, cut a little slot in it. Where does this go? Where does this go? Just cut a little nick out the end so, so that makes it easy to pour. And drop it on the ground, you know. Just cut a little nick, turn on my scales, and I want to put five grams in, which is what five, around five mil, so one, one teaspoon. So five grams is all I need. Oh, that's a lot. That's definitely not. Yeah, that's not right. That's too much. I'm gonna double check that one. Apparently, shut up. Apparently, one teaspoon is 5.6 grams, so, whoop, too far. So that's 5.6 grams of sugar. Jeez, I hope that's all right. I will now, it's a lot of sugar. Not sure about that. I don't think that's right. Alright, I've just looked it up. I need to put 3.8 grams in. I've actually put too much in here, so I'm going to rinse this out and start again. So it's not 5 grams, it's 3.8 grams, so less than 4. I'll grab another bottle and we'll start again. So 3.8 grams of sugar or dextrose, corn sugar. Remove what? Holy crap, it doesn't want to move. I've just got it. That's not working. There's no way that's. No way. That, that works. Right, that's better. Okay, my scales didn't work probably. I had to grab another one. Well, this is the moment of truth. Sugar's in. I'll now grab my stout. The 
which is under pressure, so I can do it from the floor if I want. Don't need gravity for that one. And we need to find the outpipe, which is yellow. Okay, now it's under pressure. I'm going to quickly inject some into here. So I'll put the lid underneath. It's a right height, but look at it. I will seal that and see what happens. And there we go. There's our sealed bottle. I'm going to try that one with sugar. All right, I'm going to put a little bit less sugar this time, just to make sure I've got it right. Um, that's one bottle. Too much sugar will make it explode. And I don't want that to happen. I'll leave it in the shed just in case, and uh, put it in a place where it doesn't make a mess. Just in case, I'm not sure I'm doing it right. So I'm doing one more bottle, but I'm going to do half the amount of sugar this time. So I'm going to put two grams. That's three grams. Oh, How am I going to measure that? That's a teaspoon, two teaspoons. It's not working. So what I've done is I've resorted back to just using a normal teaspoon for coffee and I'm going to use that as a measurement every time that way it's accurate for each one those first two bottles were a fairly bit a fair bit inaccurate and uh, I'm going to redo all these I'm going to do all these with one teaspoon from a coffee cup that's a normal measuring normal teaspoon and finish them all up so guys when, we, when I finish bottling I'll get back to you not processed yet. Ah, too low. So this is the beer. It's not processed yet. It still needs to age, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh my god, that tastes, that's really tasty already. Um, <laughs> that's not bad. It doesn't taste uh, off in any way. It smells good. You can smell the yeast in there, so there's still a bit of time for that one. Um, I put sugars in it, I put one teaspoon of my normal coffee teaspoon one because I couldn't find anything to measure it with, I have it. 
a measuring a teaspoon measuring device and I haven't got one but because it's stout I didn't want to put a lot of sugar in I just want to make it just carbonated enough I know where the teaspoon thing is now it's in my little bag oh my god uh, this tastes great already I'm gonna give it a few months to age and I'll do a tasting on this and I'll link it to the video this video at the same time around about the same time I release both videos um, I'll do a uh, gravity check just to make sure the fermentation is well what just to make sure what the fermentation is what a, sorry what the gravity is I'll do a gravity check and I'll post a little caption up here for that it's a real tasty beer it's made by Kegland and I I'm looking forward to the age and see how it comes out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for being part of this channel and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.